a place where there's any heat? If we can't have a press conference or at the University of Nebraska, we can't get a place where there's heat? I mean, that'd be something, wouldn't it? That'd be something. Keith, right there? He would be outstanding. I'm a big fan of that for us right there. So uh, uh, just got done with practice, obviously. Um, able to work outside uh, with, uh, with probably about half our practice. So we got some reps outside, got some things back uh, inside too. But uh, kids did a great job for us, uh, you know, per usual. That's the one thing I, you know, I've said over and over again to everyone here in the media that uh, on defense, offense, special teams, all phases right there, we got a, we got a bunch of great young men uh, that we're coaching for us right there. Obviously, I'm dialed into the defensive side. Those kids come to practice every day, and uh, and the workload's been real, especially because it doesn't change this this week. When you go through the the gauntlet we kind of had with uh, with uh, Indi I mean with uh, Minnesota, Illinois, obviously prior to them, and Michigan, we have we have, we have had a lot of uh, 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 games that are trench games, and so this game will be the exact same thing. And so we're working really hard to be able to defend. Uh, the part that they're really, really good at at the University of Wisconsin. You know, I'm really good friends with uh, several guys on that staff, and uh, I know what they're about, and I know how they operate. So I also know what kind of game that we're in for. So I know how 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 much they uh, preach their toughness, the physicality, able to run the ball, and obviously they have a very gifted quarterback. They do a lot of things uh, in the air too, especially off of play action. So we've got our hands full, uh, but we have been we've prepared extremely well. So that part's been a big plus for us. Uh, so we're excited to go on, on Saturday at 11.07 uh, Central Standard Time. So fire away. Hey, Bill, how valuable is Isaac Gifford becoming this defense throughout this year? Just the versatility he has, how you use him against Michigan, and just what he's meant to You know, it's been a lot, uh, you know, especially you know, going from the starting nickel to the starting safety is a lot. And uh, he handled it extremely well. So, I mean, Isaac's just a tremendous player, tremendous young man. He's up here 24-7. And so that's why we made that change uh, with it. Actually, we got blessed with it because also with that change, he wasn't going to play that much. But uh, Phelan Sanford uh, got a little bit of a bruise. He's doing fine now at that. But uh, he was unable to go for part of the game. And so he was going to play some. And so him and Isaac were going to split those reps. And so Isaac ended up taking all those for us. So uh, very happy with him. I say he's a great young man. Love coaching him. And uh, he has the ability to, uh, to do both again this week. We missed him last week, you know, and obviously it, it, you know, it, it was a situation that uh, he brought upon himself. And, uh, but we have a very clear, disciplined process that we follow, and that's been handled. So he's done his, he's, he, is, he has done his punishment. He's back with the team and back going. So expect great things out of Miles. Uh, we missed him uh, last week because he's tackled very well, especially in the box, and that was an in the box game last week. And so uh, to, to have him back means a lot to us, and just for depth and every other reasons, uh, helps us a lot. So we're glad to have him, that's for sure. Jamie Wright got a good amount of snaps. What, what have you seen from him? I know he's had the injuries early in his career, but where he's at now and how he can help you going forward. Well, Javen Wright's done a great job for us, and he, he went through a lot of, you know, of injuries and things that have set him back for a long time. And then he had a couple setbacks throughout the year with just a couple little of, uh, of uh, true physical things, nothing to do with some of his uh, previous uh, injuries. But now he's back with us. Uh, what Javen brings for us, he's got a uh, very high football IQ. And then also in coverage where he was so good throughout the game, um, I'm not sure what the tight ends had for catches, but not very much. And in man coverage, they didn't have any, I don't believe. And he, he was the one involved in covering him the entire game. Uh, but he's got great coverage ability, and he's got great wingspan. So the wingspan against tight ends in the matchup is, it was a huge plus for him. So it was great to be able to get him in there to be, to be the starter at that spot. And I think he had 24 or 26 snaps during the game. Uh, played very well for us, and look forward to playing a, a bunch again on Saturday. I think it. I think it helps. It really does. There, there's there's some carryover to what we have to be able to go through. He's a different, a little bit different style of back. Each one's been a little different than what we faced. Uh, he's a little bit different style of back. But you know, the thing that probably you know he's such a physical back, and then the thing that scares you the most is that when he breaks out, he has finishing ability uh, down the field for like that. He can take runs 60, 70 uh, yards in that spot. So he has the ability to 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 make the 
the four yards to six yard runs and, and turn six into eight. Then also if he gets a crease, he can make big runs for you. So there's a lot to it. That obviously he's a very talented. You know they, they're 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 a uh, they're a two headed monster there uh, with uh, with the two running backs they have with him and number twenty. And so those guys have have had a lot of banked reps. Uh, they know how they're going how things are going to be blocked because they're the typical Wisconsin offensive line up front. And so they know where their creases will be and how they're going to be blocked. So when they hit it, they hit it really hard. But it has helped us to be in this type of a game because it is tough to go from a Indiana fast pace is snapping the ball, you know, every nine seconds to somebody that's just going big bodies with two and three and four tight ends at you in a downhill run game. So, so there is some carryover, and uh, we're hoping that does well, works out well for us. Yeah. Well, a couple things with that. Obviously, I, I'm extremely proud of our guys because if you look at his numbers, he's got a lot of really big runs in games. Like that. And, you know, we were showing the Maryland game to him. I think he had a couple of runs of about 50 yards like that where they just kind of just kind of got uh, got loose versus the pressure. He had the ability to hit it. And so we did a great job of having 11 guys really, really invested on getting to him. That's what eliminates big runs is that if he can eliminate the runs, that it's always going to be roll call on the ball and population. It's like that. So if he does have the ability to make someone miss, it's not a one – uh, a one-hit wonder. There's people getting to the football, so that's probably the most important thing that we did well in that game. Uh, with it, you know, we ended up uh, having to play, you know, pretty well in the throw game. I think they were eight for 17 uh, throwing the ball, and so we did a nice job of being able to take away some of those shots down the field. But we'd had to do a better job in that game of, of taking away the uh, four to five-yard runs. That's where we kind of got. That's where we didn't play as well. We need to play for us right there. They had, they had too many third and threes in, in that in that area. We sure stress it. I mean, it's one of those things. We stress turnovers. Well, uh, we do everything we can to talk about it. You know, we have uh, you know we have turnover Wednesday, which is turnovers for us, none for our offense, and so that's a stress for us at all times. The biggest thing you have to be able to do is when you have the opportunities, you have to make them, and that's that's the, probably the number one thing. When there's a chance to punch it out, you can't have a my bad, or there's a chance for interception, you can't have a drop or a tip or something where it has to be a play that you have to be able to make. If they make a mistake, you have to be able to make them pay for it, and we work on that every every phase for us you know we do uh, we call it loose change which means every time the ball's on the ground no matter whether it's a fumble or not it's an incomplete pass balls on the ground loose change we, we run pick it up and scoop it so we're constantly working on on the ball being on the ground it's not oh that's an incomplete pass that's just dead ball every ball is a live ball to us in practice so we do do those for us interceptions are going to come with uh you know with uh, out of vision coverage more than man coverage man coverage is more passing completion defense uh, than it is besides the free safety if there is one at that time so the vision helps us a little bit uh, and then this quarterback, I said, you know, he's thrown some interceptions, but he's made some NFL throws too. So if he makes a bad mistake, we have to make him pay for it. But uh, right now, he doesn't do that very much. What is uh, both teams out of the West race? What's the mo what motivates your guys right now? I mean, what motivates you? I think that the main motivation for us, uh, there's not a bunch of external stuff like that. It's just being grown men. I guess like that, how you handle your business, how you carry yourself. I, I, I told these guys all the time that the, 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 what we put in as a staff and myself is that we want to make sure if we see these guys all of a sudden, like I said, we see them at Applebee's seven years from now, they're like, hey, coach, I appreciate you guys put everything into it, and they, they have a feeling that no one cashed it in. And that's the same thing that we preach about them at that. And they sure have done that. They sure have been able to do that. So that's our main motivation. There's a motivation, and I think it's been 10 years. I think it's 2012 since we beat Wisconsin. Yeah. And so that, that number's come up. Yeah, we, yeah, 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 we've talked about it. We've talked about that, that number and in, 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 in a streak. Uh, we're not going to put our heads in the sand about that. Like, oh, I didn't know we haven't, played, no, we haven't played that well against them. And so we need to beat them. And so it's, uh, it's uh, heavily on our to-do list, simple. You like Applebee's? I, that, uh, I love Applebee's. I, uh, I love <laughs> Applebee's and Chili's. I like both of them. I told you I have a deal with, my, with players. When I, when I have a certain group of players that I talk about all the time, I'm like, he's an Applebee's guy. What's that mean? That means if I see him five years from now, I'll buy him the right side of the menu. He gets take two, he can take two, uh, two desserts home. Cool. Like that. So, yeah, it'd be a big deal. I do it for you, Sip. I do the same thing for you. Like that. What? 
I haven't actually done that, but I'd love to say yes. That would look so much cooler. <laughs> if I did that, I'd be like, ah, that's really cool like that. But I will do that. Like that if, I do see, if I do see former players like that, I, I make sure that I'd uh, take care of them, that's for sure. Uh, absolutely. The, the same class, uh, I, I guess what, what or who comes to mind for you when you think about our uh, you know, I, really, I, mean, so I haven't thought through that real hard. I'm going to be honest with you. I just haven't thought through that, man, this guy's his last game. This means this to him uh, uh, with those things. I, I haven't really spent much time on that. So apologize for that. But everyone that's, everyone that's, that's, that's walking through that tunnel has, has done a, a lot for this program. And also everyone that's gone through that, that tunnel has been through a lot in this past few years. And then the same thing with their resiliency. So even they, when they do run out there like that, they'll have just like extreme pride of like how they dug in when, when, when everything was going wrong. Because boy, it's easy to be a front runner. And in, and in this game like that, it's hard. Because people try to, when you go to practice in this sport, people try to knock you down. Do you have a yeah. message like for a guy like Caleb Tanner, who's been here yeah. a long time, has come a long way, is now a captain and a senior? Yeah. Is there something that like, you figure that you'll say to him that's different before a game like this? No, I don't, I'm not a big on saying something different. I think we'll just stay with, with what we've been doing and how we've been doing. That, that's what's held this thing together is, is just that there has not been, you know, a bunch of, you know, crazy rah rah and like, like I said, you know, we're, you know, that we didn't watch Rocky Four before it or any of those things like that. We just try to stay steady and do our stuff, and so it won't be a lot of things, you know, said in that fashion. And so we'll just talk about keeping things exactly how they would be, and then we'll hopefully have a, a good things to talk about after the game. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you.